What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to... How to... just one second... Hello? Hi, it's just me. Very quickly, just want to let you know that he's going to be showing you how to create this telephone effect in Adobe Audition. Thanks, bye. Um... Yeah, basically I'm going to show you that. So here we are on Adobe Audition. Now what I've done is already recorded a clip and I've also already removed the background noise. If you don't know how to do that, or if that's your usual step you do anyway, you can do it, it won't affect the effect. So I'm just going to play through what I currently have. So this is how you will create a phone effect in Adobe Audition. Okay, so that's what we have, and the first thing you're going to do is press Ctrl A on your keyboard so everything is highlighted. And then from here you're going to select Effects, and from here you're going to select Filter and EQ, then you can select FFT Filter. Now this is what will pop up, and all you need to do is head over to Presets. Now it's pretty obvious the ones you want are the two telephone ones right here. So it's completely up to you which one you pick. Of course, I'm going to use the receiver. And then you can also preview it right from here. So, this is how you will create a phone effect in Adobe Audition. So, of course, that's the receiver. And then if we select the voicemail one, again, we can just preview it by pressing this button. So, this is how you will create a phone effect in Adobe Audition. So there is a difference and to be honest it is completely up to you which one you use and of course what you can do is for example if I go back to receiver you can see the way the line is in a position. So if you maybe want to adjust it a little bit for example I can pull this out, pull this out, all you really need to do is try and keep that same shape so it's not going to be too difficult. So for example now I've just adjusted all of them lines but it's still the same shape so let's just play it through. And you can see I actually prefer that way. So let's say you do adjust the settings and you like the what you've created. Of course you don't want to be adjusting it all the time. What you then want to do is select this button here which is this save settings as a preset. Then you can call it whatever you want to. So I'm going to leave it at that and put number 2 at the end. Select OK. Select apply. And then for future videos or for future audio clips if you go back over to filter EQ and FFT filter you can always come over to presets and you can see it will be right there. So you won't have to remember them settings, it's already going to be saved. Now if there's any specific tutorial you want to see in Adobe Audition, just let me know in the comments below or you can comment on my social media and I'll definitely get around to doing them. I do want to do a lot more tutorials on Audition, so definitely let me know.